everybody. This is Eric Virthaler, and hard to believe, right? Had it's been one whole entire year now, ever since that crazy shenanigans that happened with that evil killer Justin Bieber CD and his maniacal plan of collecting the ultimate stones so and then that way he could turn the whole entire world into deniers of dinosaurs i met a lot of new friends on the way like civil art like you know civil except with a little bit of art at the end when civil. we saved the world from that evil justin bieber cd from his evil plan balance was restored to the entire world and then everybody believed in dinosaurs again, which made the world a much better place to live. So, ever since the events of the first movie, I continued to further my education at MSUB. Simba and I moved out of my old apartment, and Simba and I moved into the apartment we currently are at right now. But you know what? Enough of that crap. I'm freaking starving. I haven't had some fast food in a while, so how about I, I go get some fast food and treat myself, eh? Hey, welcome to Dino Burger, where good food isn't truly extinct. How may I take your order? Uh, yeah, um, I would like a T-Rex double cheeseburger, some Stegosaurus fries, and a drink, please. You want cheese on that T-Rex? Uh, yeah, um, I definitely would like some cheese on my cheeseburger, thank you. Okay, one single cheeseburger combo. Anything else? Um, I said I wanted a double cheeseburger. So, you still wanted cheese? Yes. You want fries with that? Sure. On your hamburger? No. Cheese. Okay, so a T-Rex double cheeseburger with fries and a drink? <laughs> yes. Would you like your drink Triassic or Jurassic size? Whichever one is your biggest one, I will take it. I'm starving. Would you like a lava cake to go with that for just a dollar more? Sure. I don't see why not. All right, your total will be at the second window. Thank you so much. Hang on a minute. Uh, where's my drink? Your drink? Oh, <laughs> funny story about that. Um, I got a little thirsty, and you know, um, it was the only thing available. Sorry about that. <coughs> Refreshing. Do you want to know what pisses me off? Oh, when fast food restaurants screw up your order! It's really annoying. It's a waste of my time. Like, how do these people get hired? 
I question that, man. Oh, it's so irritating. It's because that we're wasting our time because that we drove all the way. We put in all that effort to drive all the way to that fast food restaurant only for them to screw it up. It scares me to think that you people can vote. When we say we don't want something in our meal, that simply means we do not No doing mental gymnastics about it. No and if buns or maybe's about it. It means we do not. Hey, repeat it after me. We do not, which is the opposite of do. Not what so and so crap in our meal. Gosh, and we when we say we want something, now this is what is the opposite of don't. It means we do want it. Oh, gosh. oh this drives me insane. Clearly, these fast food restaurant employees do not have a ball sack. They don't have anything down there. Like when we say we don't want pickles in our cheeseburger, but they put it in anyway. Like when we say we don't want hot sauce, but they put it on anyway. Like when they say, oh, I want cheese on the burger, but they don't put it on. Or when they don't put napkins in our bag, like for crying out loud. Do you think that we're just going to wipe all that saucy crap off of our face with our shirts? I hope they never breathe. It's scary to think they can reproduce. They're going to produce more of these turd nuggets. There has to be something going on with all this crap. There has to be something. There has to be more than all this crap. They have to be hiding something. But you know what? I'm not wasting my time here at this crap. I'm out. I'm going home. Have a nice freaking day. Come on. Eric, these are some treats for Sim. As I promised, I'd give you some treats. Oh, well, that was very nice of Savart. Simba! Here you go, Simba. Though I must warn you, you are in grave danger. So you must listen very carefully. Hello? Hello, I'm so sorry we messed up your order, but here's a new one free of charge. Well, about time you guys got here. Gosh, all this ranting has made me hungry. Thank you so much. Uh, Houston? You have a problem here? Uh, where are my fries? Fries? Yes? My burger? Where are my fries? Oh, yeah, I, I think I forgot those. Great! That's just great! Just perfect! How could this get any worse? We're so sorry to hear about that. Don't worry about it. It's not your fault. Nice necklace you got there. Oh, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate the compliment. Do you mind if I ask where you got it? Oh, you wanna know where I got this from? Yeah, uh, back in 2019, me, my grandma Dawn, and her wife Karen, we all went to Universal Studios in California. We went on the Jurassic World ride and at the gift shop. They had this, I saw this, I'm like, this is so cool. I've got to get my hands on it. So I did and 
And yeah, you know, I've gotten a lot of compliments wearing this, so yeah. Give me that necklace. Oh my gosh. Simba, go hide right now. Give you the location for that. I am sorry. Wise guy, I see how it is. For Jehovah! that about? No need to worry, Eric. They're not dead. I just sent them far away from this area. Well, I'm glad that was the case, but why in the world do they want my necklace? That was a Jehovah's Witness. You are in so much danger, Eric, right now, and the fact that you don't even know is terrifying. Um, okay, but... How bad is it? I, I, I really don't think it could be that bad. It could lead to you not existing at all. What? What, what are you talking about? How is that? All will be explained. We need to get people to help. I'll get Savar to help. Savar will help to explain all of this. How do you know Savart? You see, Savart and I actually were roommates in college. But get Natasha and Barbara. We don't have time. Well, <laughs> there's a slight problem with that. When Natasha turned into a dinosaur, it didn't take long until she became more dinosaur than person. Somehow the FBI found out and took her away. Just like that? Yeah, they gave me $20,000 to keep my mouth shut. And you accepted it? <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't? But doesn't money piss you off? It does. I mean, it does, but college is not going to pay for itself. Oh, I'm not thinking. Wait, Jeannie, the tape on your mustache just changed. And my watch just vanished. That's bad film continuity right there. But what about Barbara? Oh, yeah. Um, remember the ketchup that Barbara used against the CD? Yes. That wasn't ketchup. It was sulfuric acid. And during a barbecue later that year, Barbara used that instead of the ketchup on a hot dog. And yeah, I think you get the picture. Oh gosh, well, that puts us in a serious pickle. Well, we better go get Safar for help right now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the grand finale, 
a great support. Yeah. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? You're in the end of morning. Wait up, she rising. Wait and up, she rising. Wait and up, she rising. Golly and all. Are you kidding me right now? I'm taking a shower. You couldn't have warned me about this. I'm sorry, Savant, but this is an emergency. We didn't have time to prepare you. You've got to help us now. Okay, okay. One second, one second. <sighs> okay. What's the problem? So, Savant? What's so important about this necklace? Um, can I have some context? The witnesses, they are making the move. Oh dear. This is serious. How so? Well, you see, the necklace you have on you right now, it, it has a piece of the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, and kind of like the dino sword, it has certain powers and abilities. In this case, the power is practically unlimited. So much so that you can do like time travel, or in some cases, dimension hopping. Wait, what? Why would the Jehovah's Witnesses want to time travel? It's not them that wants it. It's their leader. Oh, David. I have six questions. Savat and I have noticed a recent rift in the timelines. At first, we thought it was the Justin Bieber CD. After the snap that turned people into deniers of dinosaurs. And although that was part of the problem, there was much, much more going on at the same time. What is it? The now CD from your first episode has returned! Really? Another CD villain? Please don't tell me this is gonna be a repeat of the previous movie. Nah, I show you the plot here is very different. You see, the now CD has convinced the Jehovah's Witnesses that it is indeed Lord Jehovah to ensure that he gets whatever he wants for world domination. And in order to do so, he needs to kill the last Eric. The last Eric? What do you mean? When the Now CD killed you in the first, you know what pisses me off video, it wasn't just a skit. That was a sign of things to come. After that skit, that's how the first Eric was killed in another dimension. And the no Eric's were harmed joke at the end of the video may seem like um, a harmless joke, but in reality, you didn't put that joke in. It was the now CD to pass it off as just that, a simple joke, just to keep members of the Mystic Arts from getting involved. Because had we known about it, we could have stopped it as soon as it started. So how did you eventually figure out who was really involved? As the list continued after the Justin Bieber CD's death, I decided to look into it because at first it was subtle, but around the snap, it got stronger. Again, very subtle as Shockwave from the snap was a diversion to mask up what was going on behind the scenes. It's much like when someone farts, but at the same time, the individual fakes a cough to cover up the noise. It may have distracted from the initial reaction, but after a while, others will figure out what's going on. Wait, wait. Savart? 
Did you really just compare the fate of the universe to a fart? Yes. May I continue, please? Sorry. Thank you. Anyway, after that video was uploaded, the Now CD found a relic that was hidden inside of that knife. With that, the CD was able to spend the last 12 years killing different versions of you from every single possible dimension available by anything means necessary. And it was successful every single time. Nothing has been able to stop it, and as a result, you are the last remaining Eric in existence. That's why it took me so long to review the movie of the one that you made. Because every Eric that was killed in every dimension, the movie died with him. But why not kill me first? Because you, being the creator of the series, have the highest power level. You even have the power to destroy it if you like to, since comedy is the most powerful weapon that you have. But throughout that period of time, your power level has been getting smaller and smaller because by killing the Erics through different dimensions that are weaker, a part of you is gone since they are part of your subconscious. And as the straw that broke the camel's back, the now CD is responsible for why Dumb of the Dead completely fell apart. And it broke you to that point where your levels were so low it could have taken you out permanently and nothing I repeat, nothing could have stood in its way. But the events of Dumb of the Dead were years ago. Why not then? Because it didn't want to physically kill you. It wanted to erase you from existence and absorb your power. In order to do that, it had to go back in time to where you were at your most vulnerable, which would be after Dumb of the Dead's production died. It had to wait until the Dinosaur Denier snap to occur to avoid Genie and I's involvement since time travel takes more power than dimensional hopping. Unfortunately, before the Now CD could act on its final plan, you unlocked your inner dinosaur and regained all the power that you lost years ago. So, if I gained my power back, What's the worry? That right there is where the necklace comes into play. Once it has the necklace, it will go at the moment before you gain your powers back and take you out, making it more powerful than ever since. And it will break through the power shield that was created once you gain said power. And once it kills your past self, you will cease to exist. Once that happens, the Now CD will absorb all of your power remaining, and then game over. Um, okay? And then what? World domination, obviously. Hold on there, mister! I! Eric Irithaler, I have a question. How am I that important? You see, Eric, by calling out the things you call out on, you've allowed critical thinking. By eliminating you, they could persuade other unfortunate souls to join his cause. They already started taking over fast food joints and purposely screwing our orders have a subliminal message to make that happen faster. Yeah, it's funny you mentioned fast food because I was just at that dino burger place and they messed up my order. Oh, how was the food there? I've always wanted to try it. Oh, trust me, it's not worth it. Even if you ignored the poor service, what food I got was about average. Oh, that's sad. Uh, yeah, um, you know those reviews are fake, right? Yeah, they have to be. No, seriously, they are. The Jehovah's Witnesses made fake reviews to encourage uninformed customers to buy their food, giving them the findings needed for the Now CD's master plan. And with good reviews, they'll keep on coming. 
I'm still confused about something. Uh, so where do the Jehovah's Witnesses come into play? Um, I mean, I get the leadership part. Why does the CD need them? The now CD can't be everywhere at once. With a little promise of eternal paradise, you can get anyone to do anything for you. They spent years getting all the relics needed to make the time jump successful. That necklace that you are wearing right now, that's just the power button. Any more questions before we take emergency protocol? Question, that Jehovah's Witness that was right at this door of mine. She didn't really look like a Jehovah's Witness to me at all. I mean, normally they dress in like suits, ties, really fancy dresses, and they normally don't have piercings or tattoos. I thought all of that wouldn't meet the criteria to be a Jehovah's Witness. I thought all that stuff was banned. So call me me, please, have some clarification. Well, that's a good observation, Eric. So, uh, the new leader has decided to change that rule, saying that they definitely could not wear suits, dresses, and all that, and, and they and they definitely could wear all that if they want to, but it's, it's no longer a, a necessity. And, and the new leader also decided that they can get tattoos and piercings. So yeah, that's the explanation for that. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so one last question before this expedition scene ends. How did meeting about the CD building a fast food joint take place? I'm really curious how that turned out. He sent his followers to do it for him. Of course, I should have guessed. Now we need to keep a watchful eye for the next few days, as they will try anything to get the necklace. The now CD must not get a hold of that necklace. I will grant you three wishes during the events of this of this movie. Just use them wisely. And Eric, if you need me, I'll be available pretty much any time. In the meantime, I'm just gonna find other people that could assist us. However, I was able to find someone who will guard the necklace with you. You should be here before too long. But until then, I wish you the best of luck. Well, Simba. We're against another CD. But he has an army. I mean, unless if you have some powers that I'm aware of, well, I am in the process of editing a, another video on my iPad, so I guess I'll just work on this and, you know, release that. Do you want to know what really pisses me off? OJ Simpson! Yeah, I know, this event was nearly 30 years ago now, but man, oh man, are there things that really piss me off about it. First of all, if OJ had no reason to kill Nicole Brown Smith and Ronald Goldman, then why did he run from the scene of the crime, huh? If he had nothing to hide, then you think he'd willingly go and prove his innocence? The train of thought right there. 
Some may say that because of the Rodney King incident, he'd be a target because of his race. But by running away right after the brutal killing of two people, nearly everyone will think you are involved in some way, if not directly responsible. The next point is actually not about OJ himself, but the tampering of evidence to try and get OJ in prison. You see, there was really no concrete evidence that he did it. So the team against OJ bought a particular brand of gloves at a particular store. He frequently got their blood on those gloves and slipped them into the evidence bag. But by doing so, they forgot to get gloves that were the right size. So, of course, his hands didn't fit. And the jury then thought he didn't do it. And just like that, he was free to go. And after being found not guilty, he then admitted to killing them and even wrote an entire freaking book about it. And thanks to the double jeopardy rule they can't send him away so if no one messed with the evidence he most likely would have served his time but because of a few corrupt police officers he got off scot-free i do find it ironic though that oj simpson was one of the original picks for the Terminator. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. But James Cameron apparently claimed that he doesn't fit the mold of a bloodthirsty killer. <laughs> that certainly didn't age well, now did it? While he was arrested for armed robbery, and uh, he's... Free to join society as of last year because of quote unquote good behavior. All right, I'm out. Have a nice freaking day. give you the good news about Jehovah. I represent the Jehovah's Witnesses and I'd like to give you a Jehovah Witness brochure. Uh, Jehovah Witnesses, we're here to help you spiritually. What do you say, uh, sir? Nope. Uh, what? Hey, Just don't shut the door. I have even better news than the last time I came here. I do not represent the Jehovah's Witnesses. They went bankrupt. Uh, they refused to take uh, their uh, tax exempt status from the federal government. And they made another great big mistake. They got the wrong deity. The sin lord of our universe is not Genova, uh, it's Genovi, Genovi. And th there's some wonderful news I have to tell you about Genovi. You're with it, and I'm with it, and together we're with it with Genovi, Genovi, Genovi. If you wanna have an alien abduction, if you wanna get another abduction, 
who do you call? Janovi, Janovi. I'm telling you what you need to do. I'm going to give you, I got it right here. I'm going to give you the phone contact information for Janovi 909. And for only $2.99 per minute of donation, you can ask your questions of the great sim word of the universe and learn today's safe words. They're safe words that can keep you spiritually safe for the day, but you've got to call every day. And you need to donate at least $2.99 because we are a nonprofit religious. Genovi, Genovi, you're with it, and I'm with it, and we're both with it with Genovi. Play it, play it. Play. Hello. Uh, I, I've got a delivery for Mr. Eric. Uh, can I come in? I, I, I don't want to lose my... I work for uh, Beagle Pizza, and we, we wear our dog dog recognition because dogs love us but pizza eaters love us even more so can I just deliver this to you or how you want it before it gets cold with beagle dog delivery we want to get it to you on time every time at the right time it's, it's, it's very good if you become a return customer uh, this coming week, there's a 25% off liver and onion pizzas. Mmm, yum. See ya. In the flesh. Kenny Horrickson? That's you? What happened to you? Your snap changed me. CD. You'll never get away with this! Oh, really? 
What makes you think that you'll stop me? Because we have prepared for your arrival and you have fallen into our trap because there are at least three snipers a few hundred feet away from this building taking aim as we speak. We have multiple mines in the building. One wrong move and you're a gunner. We also have an army tank on its way, locked and loaded. You have no chance against us, CD. Come on, Eric. I know you don't have the budget for that. <sighs> well, it was worth a shot. That's funny. You're just delaying the inevitable, and I'll find no greater satisfaction than to see my greatest enemy be erased out of existence forever. <laughs> You're right, I was stalling, but not for the reason you gave, to give him more time to get here. Oh shit, oh shit! I'm back! Who? Arnold Schwarzenegger! Your timing is perfect. I haven't seen you in over 10 years. Anybody? me. Wait, Arnold. Wait up. Wait, Arnold. I have a question. Uh, Don't you usually wear like a black leather jacket? Whatever happened to that? The other jacket is at the dry cleaner. And this is the only jacket available. Okay, but wait for me. Well, that didn't last long, but wait. We're back at my apartment? Uh, Arnold? Why the hell are we back here? But I thought, since that, we ran from the house. The last place that they would look is here. Yeah, or in other words, the movie just doesn't have the budget for other filming locations. And then we have to arm ourselves with weapons, what do you have? I mean, I don't really have much for weapons, but I guess I could be a total asshole and just throw this bottle at one of them. Ugh. Well, we better make the best of it because my scanners indicate that they're on the way here. How much longer, Arnold? About five minutes, maybe even less. Eric, what is it that you need? Genie, I need to make a wish. All right then, what is your first wish? I need to devise a plan to stop the CD. Oh, Eric, unfortunately I cannot tell you the outcome of that. But I can only give you the first half of what you are supposed to do. Then after that, you have to let everything fall into place. Otherwise, the uh, time-space column will be screwed up. Do you understand? That's fine, I just... I need something. Very well. I sent six million different outcomes of this. Okay, and how many do we win? Only one, Eric. I can tell you a spell that will delay your disappearance. And plus, on top of that, instructions of where to go next. However, though, you cannot tell anyone otherwise this one instant where you win will not happen. Do you understand the risk? I understand. All right, Eric. Grab a paper and pencil, or any sort of writing utensil. All right. Better write down the plan. My scanners indicate they are here.
penalty kill, you'll never take me alive. You cannot trample on a Jehovah, Genovi witness. You think you got me? You got me, but you don't got me because I might die here. I sent in reinforcements. Wait, 
Wait! CD, stop! Please, spare his life! This better not be one of your tricks, Eric. It isn't. It's not a trick. Now, give me the fucking necklace. <laughs> it was a pleasure doing business with you, Eric. Now all my brothers and sisters are outside waiting for me. And I'm gonna take you to the watchtower to fulfill my plan. <laughs> Eric, what were you thinking? Why did you do that? You're gonna have to trust me on this. Wait, what the hell is going on here? Why are you still here? The genie helped me conjure a spell to delay my disappearance. So I, so uh, I don't understand something, Alec. So you still have your powers? Not, ex not exactly. It shut down, and I have to wake it up. So what the hell do we do now? Then we have to find Savart right now. And how long do we have? I don't know. Genie didn't tell me, but I have a feeling that it's not going to be very long. Let's get to see Chopper! That's fine, Arnold, but... We'll take my car. It, it, it's... But we don't have much time. We gotta get going now! Master's lady, but 
Beard. Beard lady. No. Okay. Eric shall pay for Master's Mouse's death. Indeed he will. Go, everyone. We must find Eric and his power. We can't afford to lose it. Can you? I have a special task for you. I want you to head over to the laboratory outside of Billings and release a dinosaur. Look, Savart, we don't have much time. Jeannie told me that you would know what to do next once the witnesses have the necklace. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. All right, just stand back. Hmm. Where are we? At the temple where the Grand Master Kurta resigns. And this Grand Master is supposed to know where to go? Of course. That's where he taught Janie and I and our grand powers. And how powerful is this grandmaster? He was one of the owners of the stones that created the dinosaur deniers. Are you sure we even can trust this guy? Oh yeah, you have to be cautious because security has been tight. G, I'm back! Wait, I thought you died in the last movie. Well, that's what you thought, Apple, homie G. And I'm not, I'm alive! Uh, Savar? What's going on? Well, you see, when the now CD uh, made, made that time jump, it made two different timelines. One where I fought this the gangster, and another where I fought the CD. We live in the latter timeline. Wait, Savat, you fought the Justin Bieber CD? Yes, I did. So what happened? I wasn't there for it. You're not smart enough to go around that. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, actually, um, ignore that last part and just get back to the biting thing. Please? No? No! Um, no hard feelings? Oh! 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 Eat this! And to put it simply, uh, I won easily. Yeah, well, that doesn't seem likely. Well, that's what happened. King Charles, you can't K. prove it. You weren't there. Whoa, 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 Gangster G, slow down. You don't mean to tell me you fought a CD? That's so dope, man. Uh, I know, right? 
Okay, you know, that's cool and all, but I'm kind of on a time crunch here, and I really don't want to be wiped out of existence. You see, homie G, it's time for you to meet the master. Eric, smart, wake your goofy asses up. We need to get going now. I know, but Kurta does not like uninvited guests. Why? How busy could he possibly be? There are thousands upon thousands of beings with more problems at stake, probably even worse than ours. So there's really no guarantee that we will even be getting in, let alone having an appointment with Kurta. Next! Oh, good. We're next! Oh no. It's you! Who in the hell is this? The rabbit. <gasps> it's so cute! Look at how cute the bunny is! I want to pat it! Can I pat it? Please! I want to pat it! That was the very funny. Hey, Rabbit, have you left the house yet? Because I think you're having a bad hell day. I don't like this one. Okay, this one, Rabbit, will make you laugh. What is a rabbit's favorite dance? Hip hop. You're keeping me from my lunch break. I'm starving. Look, Rabbit. We need to see Kurta right now. Yeah. You and everyone else. What makes you so important? The now CD from my first episode is trying to wipe me out of existence. Please. Please. Your world? Yes, my world. Any other? I know it. I mean, I certainly hope not. But I guess it is possible. Not my concern, then. He might go for your universe next! I said no! Now go away! Wait. I might have something that might change your mind. What are those? Apples. Trust me, you will like them. Hmm. Not bad. 
if you buzz us in to Curtis a little early, I will bring these and other fruits to your universe. And you don't even have to eat these on, a, on their own. You can do, make them into whatever you want. You can make like say apple turnovers or something like even apple pie and even more. I like pie. I like pie too because it's a pie day. Get it? A pie day. Okay, I'll let you in just this once. <gasps> Thank you, Habit. I, I swear, if there's any way that we can repay you, we'll do anything. Do not speak of this encounter. You have our word. They have a good reason for barging in like this. Grandmaster Curta, we don't mean to intrude on such short notice, but this was an emergency. How important is it? Okay, um, well, I don't know when, but I'm about to vanish out of existence very soon. And... Does this concern everyone else? No, but... Don't care then. Can't waste magic on every single word quest unless it involves the whole world. Because if I do it for one, I'll have to do it for everyone. And trust me, you don't want that kind of fame. But, it, but, 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 but it, it's more important than that. Really? How so? Eric is the only one that can take down the CD. The now CD, in fact. You're saying we can't take it down? No, of course not. It's just that... Silence. Kiss my tongue. I'm gonna have to respectfully decline that offer. Kiss it! No! Uh. Ow. Ow. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. Speaking out against the mystic arts. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I would welcome death at this point. Uh... Ah! Simba? You got teleported here? That's the other strange thing. Did somebody try call a Simba? Okay, so with all due respect, I can defeat the CD with the dinosaur. Well, that's all you had to say. But we tried! I need you to kiss my child again! Uh, no, thank you. What are we waiting for? The problem, that's the problem. My powers are off due to the CD killing my past self. I need to wake the powers back up in order for me to use it. 
Then you'll have to go to the Enchanted Forest of Enchantment. Follow the trail until you reach the pond. And then what? Go into the water and Sivart will chant the spell and you should get your powers back. That simple? Pretty much, yeah. How far away is it to this pond? I'll make a portal outside the forest, but you will have to make the journey yourselves. All right. But there's one more thing you must do in order for this port, the spell to work. You'll find out once you get there. There will be someone waiting for you. Go now. You, might have not, you don't have much time. Well, Simba, you overheard him. We gotta go now. That's the bathroom. Sorry. Simba, come on. Forest of enchantment. <laughs> I've been expecting you. What? Uh, could you maybe repeat that again? I can't understand a word that you're saying, please. Mildly, I'm talking on this. This thing. Solomon. Solomon? 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 Did you say Salmon? Salamander! Salami? Salamander! English, please! Sound it out! Eric, what is it? Um, hi, Genie. Uh, yeah, uh, I would like my second wish, please. Oh, absolutely! What is your wish, Eric? Uh, yeah, um, I can't understand what this guy is saying. So could you maybe put on some subtitles or something? Alright, so the journey to the bond is a very, very complicated route, but as long as you listen to me, and only me, you'll make it. So, here's how we how we get about it. Oh! Yeah! I see what you mean. I'll fix that right away. Thank you! The big little bit of a get to get the hell out of the way. Am I really that hard to understand? Are you serious? This is ridiculous. Alright, just follow me right away. It's not that simple. What? Um. What do you mean? For you see, you don't technically have a real body at the moment. Because of that, 
one of you must sacrifice herself within the pond. Oh boy. Things just got real. One of you must do it. <laughs> you know what, homie G? I'll do it. No, 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 no. You don't have to do this. You realize that, right? You see, homie G? This was Curse's plan all along. You see, Eric, homie G, skillet from the hood? When the CD killed you, your past self, it left me without a purpose. And I want a purpose in life! I want to be somebody! I'm gonna be that somebody! But there must be another way! There is no other way, Eric. We're out of time, gangsta! Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, homie G. Skill from the hood. I thought about this long and hard. I need to fulfill that purpose. And I will. <sighs> okay. If you're sure. All right, gangsters. Let's do this. That's why. Gangster G, whoa, Salamander G, yo. What in the world have you been eating? You smell like rotten eggs. I've been eating rats. They're You're good. <laughs> yeah, homie G? Well, have you been eating squirrels? Because I think you're awfully nuts. I'm trying to have a serious moment here, Gangster G. I'm trying to have my, my moment, and you are ruining it. I'm not gonna miss you. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna miss you either. Ah, you weird ass G. All right, gangsters. This is my moment. Yeah. Here we go. Nice dive. I give that an 8 out of 10. Yup! Ready when you are. Just step forward. Arnold, Arnold, please step away from the water. This is too dangerous. Um, thank you. Alright, stand back. Well, did it work? Please, please, tell me, did it work? Uh, uh, I honestly don't know. I'm, I hope it's working. I mean, I'll, I'll be the first to admit I'm not perfect at this. I mean, I've just been doing this for almost 10,000 years, so I don't have enough experience points. I mean, I, I certainly hope it worked. I, wait. Did I kill Eric? Oh no! I killed Eric! Oh man, the... All the boards are gonna be so mad at me. Oh no, not again. Oh man, and, and the world's about to be destroyed too, but oh man, no. I can't do this again. 2,000 years? What do you mean 2,000 years? What do you mean Eric is dead? You've been doing this for a long time, Savant! Savant, come on! Come on, Savant! 
Have you used magic before? Because it takes a lot of time and concentration to conjure up the simplest spell, and 10,000 years is not enough to cover everything. So unless you are the one doing the magic, do not tell me what I'm doing wrong, okay? He's not dead, he's over there. Stop your bickering, I'm gonna go home now. Getting too old for this. He's back. Brothers, sisters, Kenny, mustache lady. We have to get going now. Luckily, my special weapon has been tracking the group. Hold out your hand and think of the dinosaur. Yes! Eric's back, and it's because of me. Oh, the higher ups are gonna love me. Wow! This thing's cool! I did it. <laughs> I did it. Is that how you killed Mustache Man? You killed Mustache Man, and now you're going to pay for it. Listen to me, Mustache Beer Lady. I did not kill Mustache Man. Do not think you didn't do it. It all makes sense. You two were friends for eight months, and then he stops being friends with you, and all of a sudden, he ends up dead. Sounds like it all points to you. That skit was years ago! Seems like a likely way to take suspicions off of you. Look, just listen to me. For once, I did not kill Mustache Man. It was the CD. <laughs> Keep digging that grave. You'll hit China before you know it. Oh. <laughs> no! So, Eric, tell me, are you ready for round two of your defeat? Round two? Yes. But I'm afraid. It's you that's going to be defeated. <laughs> well, that, my friend, is a fortification. Any more questions before I defeat you? Why would you waste all of your time ruining Dumb of the Dead? To get new members to join us, and to get people to realize that all entertainment is pointless, and all of the attention goes to me, Lord Jova. Well, 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 you must be Kenny. Well, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. You're outnumbered. Not quite.
<laughs> now it's even. Oh yeah, CD? I could do this all day! That's what all of your ultimates sell, sir, before I kill them. Once I finish you off, and I'm all powerful, my first order of business is to open Dino Burger 2! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can't allow this. You're a fool. Just like those Jehovah's Witnesses. They're so sheltered that they will believe anything that they're told. And mustache lady, or shall I say, beer lady, is so stupid she'll believe my story just because I told her what makes you any different than them. Yeah, well, eventually your lies are going to catch up to you, CD. I disagree with that assessment. So I can see you got mustache lady on your side, even though the Justin Bieber CD killed mustache man. It wasn't the Justin Bieber CD. That killed him, you dingleberry. What the hell are you talking about? I saw him do it! He was seriously injured, but miraculously survived. In fact, he came by to warn you about Natasiosaurus, but was killed by Natasiosaurus. The plan was for you to defeat the CD. That as soon as you got home, she would kill you. But Mustache Man called the FBI, who took her away before that part of the plan could occur. But now, there is no escaping your fate. Brothers and sisters, I thought we would believe anything we're told. And by your name? We know that you're not Jehovah. Mustache lady? You lied to me about who killed Mustache Man. No, hold on. I can explain. You don't understand. I was trying to deceive him. Please, stop! Let's get him. This is for all those lies.
the truth about who killed Mustache Man. You take care of the city. I'll take care of Dragon Vice over here. <laughs> And another victory for Sivar. Thank you. Thank you. I'm aware of that, CD. I'm not going to make that same mistake again. Eric, so good that you're back. What is your third and final wish? I want to rid the world of the now CD. I don't want any traces of it coming back. I wish for any possible way I could do that. Well, Eric, there is a way. But one wrong move, and it can result in the CD getting more powerful. Do you understand the risk? Yes. I'm ready, Genie. Wrap the necklace around the handle of the Dino Sword. Think long and hard, and it should bring out your greatest desires. Thank you, Genie. Thing you've done, CD, killing every other Eric from every other universe. I am going to make the gangsters' sacrifice worth it. <laughs> I did it. 
We won. We won. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, great master. Thank you. No, 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 no. You bow down to no one. You have been led by a wolf in sheep's clothing, and you have been liberated. But who will our master be? But what do we do now? What? What do we do now? Go and live your lives the way how you want it, and be your own leader. Look, mustache lady, I just want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I am so, so sorry about mustache man. I know we've had our differences in the past, but I am so, so sorry about mustache man. I wanted to reach out to you, but I didn't. And I regret that now. It's okay. I shouldn't have been so stupid to believe an obvious lie. It's okay. It's not your fault. Those evil CDs can be extremely manipulative. But what matters, you saw through the lies. Eric, you did it! And for your reward, I'll give you an extra wish. But, but Jean, I'm confused. I gave my third wish already. This one's on me, man. All right. Well, since it's been really stressful, I wish for a fun party. I wish for there to be an amazing party at my apartment. You and Savart can use all these portals to bring in as many people as possible. I mean, it would be cool to have all the people from this adventure come, but you know, I, I understand where their schedules, maybe they all can't come, but you know, at least as many cool people as possible. That would be great. I mean, if you could come, that would be great, but you know, if you have stuff you gotta do, then I understand, but you know, I just wanna throw a fun party. Very well. not been okay since my sons men died. I have not been okay this entire time. Now that I've met you, Eric, I don't need to, I don't need to carry, carry that burden anymore. Mustache Lady is back!
Simba found his way home. I wouldn't be surprised if Genie or Savard helped Simba out. Hello? Hey, what's up? Um... Remind me who you are again? It's me, Annie Schaefer. Um, you might know me better as the 80s horror girl on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'm here for the party, let's go. Oh, of course! The 80s horror girl. Come on in, partner! Let's get partying! Oh, hi, Eric. How are you? I just heard you're throwing a huge party. Um, can I please join? I've been a huge fan of your channel for years. Don't shake your hand, no! Hello, Ty! It's party time! P-A-R-T. Why? Cause I got Hello, I'm Jeremy. Come on in. Kind of confused here. Could I maybe have some clarification? Why are you still here? I thought you went home. Oh, I was home. I just couldn't shake that feeling that we probably should not have used that lake. Whoa, whoa. Why not? I don't know about you, but I don't like the thought of me just being erased from existence. Oh, no, no, it's not that. It's. To my knowledge, that was the only way that we could have brought you back. Whoa! Okay, so what was it then? It just feels like we awoken something. That's all. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Please don't tell me it's another CD because I, whoa, cannot take that again. Oh, no, 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 no worries. There are, those were the only two um, CDs in this whole universe. You're good, you're good. How bad is it? I'm not sure. I'm having Genie look into it as he's more knowledgeable about this stuff than I am, but all I can just say is be careful. All right, well, at least we'll be ready the next time 
somebody decides to mess with us. Haha, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Say, I was just about to catch a movie in Dimension 1234. Would you like to join me? Oh. Nice. What's the movie? Oh, it's just a double feature. Um, the Dinosaur Deniers Part 3 and this movie. It's a full theater and it comes with free DVDs. What do you say? You win? My treat. All right, he did! Oh yes, thank you. I should really um, not put my phone down all the time. Well, thank you. I gotta go now. Weren't you going somewhere with Eric? No. Why do you ask? I thought you were going to Dimension 1234. 1234? One, That's the universe where everyone hates every movie! So if that wasn't you, then who was it? I think I know who's doing this. So we have to walk quickly, Dad! continuity errors there are in this movie. But don't leave just yet, because there is a post-credit scene. Do you wanna know what pisses me off? I find it hard not to say it all. Things are stuck in my head. It's all the crap that needs to be said. I went to the burger shop, hoping to make my hunger stop. I wanted a double cheese, but they seemed to mess with me. No cheese in the patty tasted wrong. These are the things that piss me off, and I can't help but think about things. After all, I said they took my money. Do you wanna know what pisses me off? I find it hard not to say it all. These things that are stuck in my head, it's all. The crap that needs to be said So I went to them Said hey man what the heck No I don't want a problem But please get my order correct Whoa
So, you've come to me on short notice. You better not waste my time. I know how you can become the biggest YouTuber of all time. I'm listening. I found the infinity play button. <laughs> I thought that was just a legend. I found, I found the map. See, I found it. <laughs> Interesting. And what do I get in return? I approve this message. <laughs> my opinions down onto other people's throats. And I know the truth! And the earth is flat! And dinosaurs were real! Eric doesn't know what's coming for him! Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh